Among the dozens of nonprofits hoping to raise funds through the annual Rock the Day campaign is Ibero American Action League and Poder 97.1, Rochester's first 24 hour Latin radio station. I had a front row seat to some of the activity during their 18 hour telethon. First thing this morning, Monroe County Executive Adam Bello kicked things off with a presentation of a Bills jersey up for auction to those who donate. Oh, abuelita of my life. Throughout the day, several community members, advocates, and leaders spoke about the importance of giving to what many call the heartbeat of Rochester's Latino community. We'll have activities every hour. We're featuring a program of ours. We just featured our housing program and our development corporation. We'll have a couple of bands coming in later on in the day to play live. And we'll have a big house party that'll take it home from 9 to, to midnight. The goal is to raise $50,000 to help the numerous programs, including Poder 97.1. Rochester's only Latino radio station celebrates seven years tomorrow. Mayor Malik Evans promoted the important work Ibero does year round, connecting people to various services available in Rochester. We're working with Ibero on housing uh, and uh, many other initiatives, economic development issues, uh, and they are part of um, our team. You know, we talk about the larger context in Rochester. In collaboration, Ibero is part of that part of that collaboration. Many of the volunteers and those who work here were born in Rochester, but others, like me, are transplants from warmer climates such as Puerto Rico and Florida. They invited me to talk to their listeners about what it's been like since I got here nine months ago. And just like many other people I've met, the folks here at Ibero gave me a warm welcome. And to donate, Ibero is asking folks to visit them online at ibero.org or rocktheday.org. Call 585-484-9989 or drop by to see them at 218 Clifford Avenue here in Rochester. So far, Rock the Day has raised more than 548, rather $584,000. So close to $585,000 you have until midnight to send any donations in. That's fantastic. Let's keep it going.